Hey, Paul, Rob Myers is a scientist doing great work with some creatures that are pretty misunderstood bats. At his organization for bat conservation in Michigan, Rob is educating people to protect bats by showing how important they are. And Rob is uh, doing just that with us this morning, along with some bats he brought, including the biggest bat in the world, which we'll show you in a second. Hey, Rob. How are you? Good to have you with us. Thanks for having me out. Who's this little guy? So this is Radar, mm -hmm. and it's a big brown bat, believe it or not. Oh. It's what we have around here in Chicago and yeah. actually all over the United States. Mm -hmm. This is a really common bat. Um, you know what it eats? What is it? Uh, I'm going to guess uh, fruits and grains. Fruits and grains. They eat insects. Ah. So it's a carnivore. All of our bats oh, in really? this area eat insects. And what's so important is that they help control crop pests. Oh, that's good. So they protect our corn. They protect ah. our soy. They protect a lot of a lot of our crop pests. So I'm going to give him a little something to eat here, see if he's hungry. And let's see. There we go. It's morning time. Wow. Oh, look at this that. is like a B movie. Uh, <laughs> oh, we nice. talked part of it. All right. So uh, bats flying around at night eat about 5,000 insects every single wow. night. Wow. One bat by itself. And one of the coolest things that we can do is we can actually listen to a bat's echolocation. Okay. And uh, what this does is it picks up a bat's echolocation. And if you hold that hold it. just sure. like that. Uh, the bat's echolocation uh, is a high-pitched sound. Okay. So this right here is a bat detector. And as the bat echolocates, it picks it up, and you can hear the sound, wow. and you can see the sound on yeah. this bat detector. It's called an echo meter. What it does is, is it translates the sound into a sound that we can hear. Huh. But a bat flying around at night uses these sounds so that it can avoid running into predators. Uh -huh. It can catch tons of insects by just using its ultrasonic Sounds. Yeah, who would its predator be? Uh, an owl. Oh, sure. Yeah, a hawk, something like that. Gotcha. This is kind of a neat thing, actually, that you could use yeah. uh, in your backyard as, uh, you know, watching the bats flying around. Very cool. So I'm going to put this little bat away. And another bat that we have uh, with me today is a pollinator. And pollinators are really important. Now, one of these bats, uh, there's two bats right inside here. Mm -hmm. uh, the bats here are pollinators from Central and South America. They're called Jamaican leaf nose bats. Mm -hmm. And the Jamaican leaf nose bats are important for pollinating bananas, avocados, mm -hmm. peaches. And you know, the, um, the only pollinator of agave that we make tequila from is bats. Oh. So, All right. margaritas. Um, we're going to now move on to a uh, fruit-eating bat. Thanks, Nadia. So, this is a fruit-eating bat, and <laughs> I, I gave you some gloves I, yeah. here. All right. What do I do? Just hold it? Yep. So, what you're going to do here is you're just going to hold a foot. Hold one foot or both? Just one. Just one? Yep, so that he doesn't slip off there. Okay. Perfect. That's awesome. Okay. So, this here is a straw-colored fruit bat, and he flaps his wings. You're just kind of holding yeah, on to him so that he doesn't, so that he doesn't uh, fall. There you go. I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> sorry. He flew right down. That's all right. Good job. <laughs> Uh, let's try it one more. Let's try it one more time. He flew right down to me. That's good. So hold on to a foot. I, I got the foot. I'm you not got letting it? go of the foot. Okay, cool. Because he does like to flap. Yeah. And you got it now. All right. Now I said, so, the, are these <laughs> things related to rodents? Right. Good question. They're not really They're related not. to rodents at all. You take him. Uh, he's going after my hand. All right. I'll put a, I'm gonna. Put I know it. you said he's not a man eater, <laughs> but I'm not, I don't a, trust you. He's a fruit eater. A fruit eater. And the fruit eating bats mm -hmm. are are uh, actually really important as well. Um, go ahead and bring out uh, the last bat, too. The fruit-eating bats are incredibly important because uh, they uh, spread the seeds in the rainforest mm. of many different types of uh, plants. So we've got bats that protect our food. We have bats that pollinate our food. And we have bats that plant our food. So there's yeah. 1,300 species of bats in the world. Uh, and they're, Go ahead, bring them over. All right. Look so at the I'll hand of this, this one off. You got her? Okay, good. This here is the biggest bat in the world. That looks like the Malaysian flying fox, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> That's right. And this is a bat in the wild with yeah. up to a six-foot wingspan. Uh, let's real gently stretch out the bat's wing here. Look at that. So they have a thumb. Uh -huh. And they have four fingers, and in between each one of those fingers is very thin skin. Now we have, uh, uh, and go ahead. Yeah. You're going to do great with this one here. She's she's not flappy at all. All right. 
there, one. One? There no, we just go. one, huh? Yeah, just one. Right. She's really good with that. that. Awesome. Get close, would you? You're doing really good. Okay, so this bat right here is from Southeast Asia. Uh -huh. um, it's about 20 years old. They weigh Ooh. up to three pounds, have up to a six-foot wingspan. Bats around the world, unfortunately, are disappearing. We have less bats yeah. around today. One of the things that people can do is actually in their backyards is to put up a bat house. Oh, look at that. And what a bat house does is it gives them safe, warm, dry places to mm -hmm. raise their babies. One bat eats 5,000 insects a night. Wow. They're good in our backyards. Planting wildflower gardens is important. You've probably talked about, on, on the show, you've probably talked about bees disappearing. Yeah. And butterflies disappearing. Sure. Well, you know, native plantings also help bats out, too. Mm. So there are a lot of things that people can do to help out bats. Okay. And, uh... What do these things cost? Where do, you, where, do you get, where do you get a bat house? Yeah, so you can build your own at savebats.org. So mm -hmm. it's our website at savebats.org. You can uh, right. find okay, plants. Why don't you put it right up on here? Let's go right up. <laughs> Uh, you there can you find go. plans on how to build your own, and you also can buy a bat house, uh, too. So they're around anywhere from $50 to $100, depending on how big that they are. Very good. Yeah. Well, that was great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Are I just saw right? my life pass before me. No, it was very cute. You just, I've never touched a bat. You know, you go to the, i petted a goat before, but you know. Right. And they're such mysterious creatures. Everybody has this perception of what bats are, and it's great. It's, it was great for you to come by and yeah, uh, educate us on, on bats. Check out batconservation.org and the Save Bats page on Facebook. Oh, and check out this book, Bats A to Z. It's good reading. But over to you, Anna.